Hey guys, it's Erwin Brian. Today we're going to depin this connector found on the Z33 chassis. So that's gonna be 350Z and G35. So first step, we're gonna open up these latches on the side here. Then the cap comes off. There is a retaining clip up here. So we're going to lift up on this guy a little bit. Oh, she's a little stubborn today. So that popped out. So the retaining clip goes in like that. So we pulled it out. Now that holds these large terminals in place. So you don't need to do any of that if you're only working with the small terminals. Now these small terminals, they have a separate piece inside the connector here. Most of our swaps do not use this one. That's why it's empty. If it yours does have it in there it'll be blue in color so there are these latches here and there is a matching one here that hold that connector piece in now once you have it out to remove the terminals you have to lift up on these there's one on the top and one on the bottom so you only need to lift up on the one where you're you know going to remove your terminals so we'll close that back in and then anything else is just like any of our normal deep pinning videos there's going to be a little latch here that's the final piece locking the terminal in same thing with these large ones there's going to be a latch above and below them so hopefully that'll help you guys out if you ever need to deep pin one of these connectors the other thing i'll show you guys is these can only be inserted one way so you don't have to ever worry about putting it in upside down because it literally won't fit so we'll just reassemble this guy so you guys have an idea of the order here and then that just pushes all the way back in you can see it's pretty flush and then you just clip your cap back on you want to pay attention in the back here there's two guides one on either side and that's it 